Alright, so welcome to this video and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Flipper Zero Master Blaster. The reason I made this video is because if you search up on YouTube the Master Blaster, you will not find a normal video which answers all the questions and yeah, that's really about it. So let's start off with the comparison of the Master Blasters and the Flipper Zero's infrared. The Master Blaster has got 12 infrared LEDs, while the Flipper's infrared is way weaker. The Master Blaster clearly ahead of the game with about 30 feet of range whereas the flipper's 10 foot range. The Master Blast also has a very wide spread compared to the flipper's direct infrared. And so which one should you get? The smaller original Master Blaster or the new and improved Master Blaster? Well, it's personally up to preference as the smaller Master Blaster, I mean, obviously it's smaller, more compact, easier to fit, while the big one, it's bigger, so it's obviously harder to fit, although it does go into the board way nicer in my opinion, so that's a plus. The small blaster is also more of a singular spread, like the flipper, while Master Blaster is way more widespread, and the range is pretty similar to both of them although i would say the master blaster has a bit of a further range so in in total i would say just for the price difference it depends if you really want that extra power from the infrared then get the master blaster but if you don't really need it then just get a small one hello and welcome back and now we will be taking a look at the master blaster itself so here we can see that it has got uh, 12 uh, infrared LEDs and so if we take a look at the flippers infrared possibilities you can see like it does have pretty good infrared uh, scopes but they are not as powerful as the master blaster you line it up like so make sure that's this way and you make sure you put the pins in all the way make sure they are flush in there then you first of all you have to go to settings system settings and enable debug to have it on then if you go to gpio you have to turn on 5 volt gpio and you will see the LED light up, there's a switch for the LED too, if you need it on or off. Then infrared, GPIO settings, uh, make sure the internal is set to 2A7 and the external module 5 volt is set on. Now you go back to GPIO, make sure it's on because it turns itself off sometimes. Then you can go to infrared remote remotes and just use it and on camera you should be able to see just how much brighter it is and how much stronger it is all right so in conclusion uh we can tell that the master blast is way more powerful and way better than the flipper zero if you really need the infrared capabilities just go for it and get the master blaster as well as i would get it because the people behind it rabbit labs they hand make each single board which is a uh, very insane of them to do because i'm pretty sure their demand is pretty high at the moment so that's why uh, i respect them so much and why i actually decided to buy the board from them because you don't really find any more good boards like these for the flipper zero so yeah go check the rabbit labs out and i will put a link in description and thank you for watching this video uh, it's been a fun video to make so if you maybe want to see some more videos like this so yeah just hit like